Hey everybody, it's Rafi Azurb, and I got another great one for you. This one is on top bar. So how can we use the foundation top bar to create a navigational style? So top bar is a visual wrapper for the menu component. It is not a menu in itself, rather the styling that you might want to use to create your navigation elements really quickly and simply. So it gives you the option to house your menu, which we've seen how to make a drop down menu in a different video and how to use the menu component. And it gives you a way to split your content left and right. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the code and show you how to set this up from scratch. So it all starts with the top bar class. And this is going to be the wrapper for your navigation. So then we're going to add a top bar left. And we'll also add a top bar right. So this gives you a way to split your content up, both left and right side. So we have our two sections, left and right. So now we're going to add our menu in here. So we have our drop-down menu inserted in here on the left side. So you can see what it does is it gives you a little bit of background color, it gives you some padding, and it makes sure that the list items are vertically aligned. Now on the right side, we can add another menu. And we can set it up the same way. So if we want to have list items, we can, we can do that. Uh, but let's say we want something different. Let's say we want to add a form in here. We could definitely do that. So let's go ahead and add an input and a button. So the button will give it a class of button to use the foundation button. And we'll put some text in there. How about something more contextual like search? And you can see that what this does is it helps you line up certain elements perfectly inside of the navigation. So on the left side, we have a site title. There's also, a, instead of text, you can actually put an image or a logo in there. And then you have your drop downs or just regular list items for a menu. And then on the right side, you can put a form or you can put more list items and options there. So it's a really versatile uh, component that you can use to create a visual style for your menu. So it houses your menus. You can also control the background color of your navigation with some simple CSS. So I'll just target top bar and I can make the background Let's make it uh, this dark black gray color. And you can see that that makes the background of the top bar uh, this 333 color. Now, if we want to target the menus inside of that, we could do that as well. So then we'll go target.menu. And we'll also make the background 333. And so this rounds it out so you can easily change the background color of that. And then we can adjust the other colors inside as well. Another thing that might be handy is also adjusting the padding. So again, we'll target top bar and we'll change the padding of the top bar. Now, this is if you want to make top bar a little bit taller or shorter, I would do it with padding. So we'll add two rem of padding. You can see that that keeps all the elements centered inside of the top bar nicely. If you use height or other things, that will throw it off. So, so padding is the right way to change the spacing around the navigation elements inside a top bar. I'll go back to something more reasonable. So there it is. Lots of things you can do with top bar, and it'll really help you set your style for your navigation.